Welcome back. South African Fashion Week's Autumn Winter 2015 collections was officially launched last night at the Crown Plaza in Rosebank. This saw many designers, such as Gert Johan Kutsir, showcase their 2015 garments. Uh, being the leading fashion show in South Africa this year, it promises to maintain its standards. Well, we're joined in studio by Lucila Boyson, who is, of course, the director of SA Fashion Week, to share a bit more insight on this year's show. So nice to see you. Welcome again to Morning Live. Good morning, yes. How did last night go? Well, I think we had a wonderful showing of fantastic designs. Um, we worked with Ekuruleni Municipality and their crafters. Jacques produced his collection with them. And it's just magical to see when craft comes together with fashion. It's, yeah. It was spectacular. As you said, Khatian could see it was wonderful. Sis Isabel did an installation and she placed her models in between um, trees. So it was like going into a magical wonderland with fashion. So every year we grow, every year the designers understands more about fashion and yeah. what they have to do to to draw the attention so it was really really spectacular that is absolutely fantastic and i mean our, our designers are just getting better and better and better and I, I, do do you follow a theme uh, for this particular year, I know every year there's, yeah. there's always something. What are you following um, this year? So the South African Fashion Week, I mean, we just don't follow the theme. We just, we, <laughs> we house them. So we hold them. So we create a neutral space for them to show and the themes come through through them and okay. through their collections. And that is really what we focus on is making them look good, making them, um, giving them the light that they deserve. Yeah. Let's look at some of our South African designers. I mean, I know we've, we, we, we touched on Gert Johan Kutsia, but I mean, he just, he really is impressing. And, but how, how is he doing in terms of um, making waves internationally as well? Is that, is that on his radar? Well, I think it will be in future, but you know, you cannot make waves internationally if you don't sell internationally. Yeah. And you cannot sell internationally if you cannot supply or you cannot manufacture for the international market. And if, or if you don't have... Um, um, a, 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 a agent internationally or a studio internationally. So, yeah. you know, this whole thing of international, we have enough buyers in, uh, in our country for a designer to really become incredibly wealthy and to create an enormous amount of jobs. So for us at the South African Fashion Week, we say to the designers, build your businesses here, yeah. get your consumers here, get the publicity here and sell. And that is what the designers are doing. I mean, through the Edgar's Designer Capsule Collection, we are now in four flagship Edgar stores. So Gert, Johan Kutsia, yeah. is um, apart from all the other stores that he supplies and he sells on Spree, sells on online stores, which of course is now uh, a, a, a really a big sort of channel that is opened for the designers. Gert Jan Kutsia is selling in Menlin, in Menlin Park, in Rosebank, in Melrose Arch, and in Santon, in Edgar's. So, you know, Sorry. that shows you uh, yeah. how we've developed in the in the past few years. That is incredible. That's, and that's all that's so, important. You know, you want local designers to succeed. You want to buy their clothes. You want yeah, to wear exactly. local. Because no... Um, you know, and, 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 and I do, and I have an issue with it, and I'm sure you do as well. I mean, you walk around stores and you've got all of these, these imports, and, and mm. no offense against China because no, no, they are one of our biggest yeah. trading partners. But, you know, we have different bodies. And, and people, I hear everybody complaining on a daily basis that they are not made for the South African body, for the South African shape. It's a completely different shape. And, you know, it's well, something you've got to keep in yeah. mind. But more than that, we, we don't resonate with it. Yeah. We don't identify. And I've really seen it in the past, well, 17 years. We are 17 years old this year. And, and in the past four years, I would say that I have really, really seen how important it is for the South African consumer to identify or to have something that they can identify with. A, a look, and it's something you can't, you can't actually put your finger on. Yeah. It's a feel, it's a, it's a being um, in a space, in a country, being part of the country. And that is why South Africa will do so well internationally once we go there because everybody wants a, a piece of, of South Africa. And one of the ways you can get that is to by buying a piece of clothing yeah. from that country. And it's vital, and, I, and I'm so Very. glad you're pushing it the way you are pushing yeah. it. Um, we're seeing some of these magnificent fashions coming. I don't imagine this is from last night, but it's from previous fashion shows. We yes. saw Suzanne Haynes. You've spoken about Gert. Who are some of the other South African designers that, in your opinion, are 
they they're making waves here at yes, home. Absolutely. So we this this season we've had nine Cape Town designers showing at the South African Fashion Week, which is also a fantastic positive because it means that they see that Johannesburg is the business city. They see that business is is is, is made is is done here. We've got Kat van Dynen. She is a luxury designer. I mean her her garments really sell for sells for a huge huge amount of money. Yeah. And that is we also need that example we've got lee schubert back from cape town you know them they are They're people amazing. that really play a role colleen eitzen yeah um clive rundell has moved away from his not not completely moved away but he's moved away from his very creative designs to a luxury design that can be worn by everybody and he's selling he is he's, he's taking huge orders so it's really fantastic to see the designers Rubicon. And this season we're doing a, a menswear day. So we're oh, starting nice. developing the menswear like we've done with the ladies wear. Yeah. So we're really looking forward to that. We, we've run a competition and the designs that have come through, I mean, are really spectacular. So it's exciting. It's an exciting time that we're in. And we look forward to, to seeing the trade and the spin-offs and the, and the jobs and the wealth that are, that are going that are to be created. created. Yeah. You've, I mean, you've been involved in this for, for a very long time. And I mean, like you say, this is the 17th year of, of SA Fashion Week. Um, each year, do you notice a significant difference in the standard and the level of fashions that, that are coming through mm. and the designers, um, their, the, the, just their, their innovations? Is it, is it really, is it impressing you? I was completely blown away last night. Good. Because it is quality, it is design, it, it comes, it is honesty, there's an honesty. Uh, there's nobody copying anybody. It is really from the hearts. But the most incredible thing is that the audience is also changing. Good. So, okay. so how, every, how is it changing? It, In what uh, way? They just dress more beautifully. They're more serious. Yeah. I mean, we used to really battle to get them into an auditorium away from the bars. Now, they're <laughs> in the auditoriums. We can't get them out and the bars are empty. Yeah. You know, it's really fantastic when you see they know that they're coming to see fashion. They're interested in fashion because they're going to buy the fashion. And they are serious about the designers that they follow and about who they are going to wear near their hearts yeah. in future. I mean, I, I, I know we just coincidentally happen to be in Paris over Paris Fashion Week. Wow, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I mean, no. it is like a cult. Yeah. It, yeah. Is, it is one of the, the, the most highly anticipated events. I mean, you know, Absolutely. I'm sure you've, you've attended it yourself. Absolutely. But I mean, it, is, it was just, you know, everyone was talking mm. about it. It was, mm. it was just such a highly celebrated thing. Yeah. And uh, we need that in South Africa. I mean, when we talk about job creation, and I think it's, it's important to focus not on just the beauty of fashion. No, exactly. You've mentioned it's it many, business, many times. Actually. How are we doing? Yeah. Um, you know, when you look over the evolution of the South African fashion industry, are we creating more jobs? Yeah. Is it happening? Yeah, you, you must know, Leanne, that I really only work in the creative fashion design okay. industry. Yeah. So um, for me, it's important. The designers are important. Yeah. So we have got 78 buyers coming to the Fashion Week. We have a buyer's lounge afterwards. And we have got almost 750 boutiques that are interested in buying South African designers. So as the designers get ready to sell and to, to, to be out there, the boutiques are there. Yeah. They're ready. The designers have just got to follow through, you know, deliver and see that they, they do the designs better than the designs that they can get from internationally. Absolutely. Yeah. Yes, so, they've got to offer something unique. So, I mean, yeah. just with that, I mean, 750 stores waiting to, no, to design incredible. and buy. That is you what know, we have on our database. Well, that's, that's yeah. fantastic. And, and we've, and that's we've spoken to all of them. And all, so we know that 750 stores in South Africa wants to buy South African design yeah. but you know what is even more interesting is that I've, I've, I have um, uh, it, Italian visitors here that is doing that is really uh, all over the world they have um, a company called Unsent and, and we give our visitors a, a fragrance experience as well and they were noticing how incredibly diverse our audiences are yeah. and you know it is you talk about Paris yeah. in Paris you don't get what you get in South African Fashion Week no. I mean we have a complete mix of culture and, and I really love that the audience from the audience right through to the models to the designers it really is an example of our diversity which of course 
um, um, Desmond Tutu said was our, our biggest power in this country is the fact that we're so diverse. Yeah. And, and I see that every year and I see that every season. Absolutely. And you, and you see it in the, in the clothes that people wear. You see wear. it in the clothes. You see it on the streets. Exactly. It's it fantastic. It makes me proud no, me seeing too. South African designers making so many inroads and doing yeah. so well. Yeah. Good luck. How long does it run for? Can we get tickets? The uh, shows? Yes. Uh, there, I think there might still be some tickets on CompuTicket. Okay. And then it's until Saturday is our menswear day. Yeah. And then Sunday and Monday, the buyers. Saturday, Sunday, Mon Monday, the buyers lounge. Okay. Yeah. Wonderful. So visit CompuTicket. Have a look at the times of the shows and those that you want to see, some of the designers and, and, and whatever else interests you in the fashion world. Lucila Boyson, thank you for doing a great job. Uh, Lucila, of course, is the, uh, the director of SA Fashion Week. That's on. It started last night and it is on now.